Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the heavyweight bout between Augusto Sakai versus Sergei Sasabak. I don't know, these names get me tongue-tied. It's like, it's the name I've heard. I said it a billion times, but um, I'm going to say it again. Anywho, all takes in one video, one take, but with like 20 takes within one video, no edits. So, Augusto Sakai versus Sergei Spivak. So, I see this one right here between Sakai versus Spivak is. I'm going to make it quick, make it cute, get to the point with this one. I think Sakai, you can say, oh, he's clearly the better striker. He has shown, I could guess he was the better striker. He was this, he was that. You can say these things. You know, people could say that. Matter of fact, I really feel like it. Nobody really saying that. Most people saying, or everybody really saying that. Sakai is on a downtrend. Several knockout losses in a row. Sivak more well-rounded. Whether he finds him on the feet or reality, he probably mixes up and gets some takedowns. Sakai only really got taken down maybe in one fight or two, but hasn't really had a history of like, oh, that's why he loses fights. But he has, like I said, lost three times in a row, got knocked out and come. Rosen struck. O-ring was like a fifth round takedown and ground and pound. You know, he took him down other rounds, but it finished with some ground and pound in that fight later on in later rounds. And then uh, who else knocked him out? Let me pull up the the research, the facts. But I don't know. He's definitely on like a three-fight losing streak all by knockout. Savak is, you know, making improvements, you know, using grappling more. Same thing with that happened with um, Marston Tybor. Tybor. But I mean, Savak never was on no big downtrend like Tybor was, but both in a sense uses grappling to, you know, build a streak. And that's a big factor into why they are having success right now. That's why I'm trying to draw the dots. But, um, yeah, so tied to Ivasa, Jazina Rosenstruck, and Overing. So just like the fact that, oh, you could say, oh, this and that. Getting knocked out three times in a row definitely has some lingering effect. It's not just, oh, I got knocked out. It is what it is. Nah, you get knocked out, especially three times in a row, it's going to have an effect to make you more susceptible to getting knocked out. You get knocked out three times in a row, the chance that you get knocked out a fourth time in a row is much higher than it would be if you weren't on street fight losing streak due to knockouts. It's almost the same. But anywho, make it cute, make it simple. Sergey Sivak is the more well-rounded fighter. Sakai, you no, know, you can say his striking this or that, or potentially say that or whatnot. But even before the knockout loss, it's not like Sakai was the greatest striker. He struggled with um, Chase Sherman on the feet. And was actually, in my opinion, was losing until he knocked him out, like, with the second or third round. So he was behind on points. And you look at the, you could go back on fight metric. He was behind on the stats. The judges might have been feeling this way or that way. But stats, like, stat-wise, he was behind. And had to knock him out. Um, for a stiff, slow, but glory Ivanov, who's just a wrestler, you know, gave a take. I think he hasn't even cheated to get up for one takedown. And I think it was a point deduction. It should have been a point deduction, but I'm not fully recalling. But I definitely knew it was some controversy with the takedowns in that one. And even on the feet, when he was supposed to have so much success, would be this light-footed, big, younger heavyweight. Should have been able to dance on him and land shots and just avoid the big, slow overhands from him and slow pressure and an ability to cut the cage off from Blagoy Ivano, but went to a very close fight. This decision that could have went to Blagoy Ivano's way and a lot of people that Blagoy Ivano won that fight. So I was like, you can say this and say all about striking, but he has never really been the old, the greatest striker. He has had little moments, but that's about it. But knocked out Ty Bore, that's his best win. Knocked out Algom, who wasn't really having the best success in the UFC anyway at that time. So, yeah, he, I ain't really have no great striking moments in his career. He looked good against Overeem for the most part. Overeem was just playing him, let him get off on him, and just waiting his time to take him down. Let him wear something. You know, he played, he pulled a, the, um, the sock over the rabbit or the rabbit out the hat on him. But I anyway, now, we're never super impressed with Kai striking at all. And the times I expect him to be spectacular, or at least have success, or look good, he did not look good in striking. And now, right on 3 5 losing streak, bringing only one dimension. I'm taking Sergey Sir, 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 Sir here. I have my concern about Savak. You know, he kind of struggled with um, the vice grip guy, whatever his name is, um, Alessio Olenek in the striking department. But Olenek, again, he, had a, he was always threatening about if I go to the ground, this guy going to tap me out. And they did grapple at times. So and I'm saying it's going to be short, and it's probably the longest video I'm going to post for this card. But. Yeah, this is not impressed with Sakai. More around the fighters for Bach, better steam. And Sakai's one area, he never looked truly all that great consistently. He had little moments, he had a couple of little first round knockouts. But outside of that, he never looked like the most great striker. So I feel like Spivak can hold his own with him on the feet. Look to, you know, talk, like time him against Cade, get some takedowns. And I'm going to go average. No, I'm going to go I'm gonna go high confidence. A man riding three, five, losing streak. Other guy looking good, the best he's ever looked. Mixing up high confidence. So in this one, yeah, just take, um, Matter of fact, I'm going to say TKO. I'm not going to say decision. He's going to be a land shots on the feet, wear him down with, in the K, against in the clinch. You know, just wear him down with clinches, wear him down with takedowns, and eventually be able to start 
hold him down and land a ground and pound. Sakai really like a dead fish off his back. So second, I'm going to say third round TKO. So in this one, I got Sergey Spivak via third round TKO. 